the AFM in South Africa. In South Africa, the cradle for the Pentecostal movement was prepared by the 1860 revival in the Dutch Reformed Church. The Holiness Movement, in which Dr. Andrew Murray played a key role, and the Zionist movement of John Alexander Dowie that took root in South Africa at the end of the 19th century. In 1908, John G. Lake and Thomas S. Malach left for South Africa. Both visited Azusa Street and received the baptism in the Holy Spirit as well as a strong conviction to do missionary work in South Africa. They didn't have in mind starting an organization or a church. On 25 May 1908, they held the first service in the Doerenfontein Hall in Johannesburg and the services were marked by divine healing. As a result, people from all population groups brought others to the gatherings and soon the services burst out of their seams and they had to look for a new building. They then moved to Greer Street where the building could accommodate 600 people. Here healings took place, people were baptized in the Holy Spirit and addicts received deliverance. True repentance were pursued and lives forever changed. House services were also held and the Pentecostal movement spread like wildfire. The apostolic faith mission as a Pentecostal movement did not start through a church rift or doctrinal reasons. At its heart, it was about an experience, namely the filling or the baptism with the Holy Spirit, with a sign of speaking in tongues, as well as the accompanying gifts of the Holy Spirit. Other typical characteristics were the water baptism of believers, a strong emphasis on sanctification, on prayer, evangelism, and an expectation of Christ's return. In April 1996, the AFM became the first denomination in South Africa to be fully structurally integrated and became one church. Today, the AFM has approximately 1.5 million members with 1,810 congregations and 2,500 pastors in 43 regions throughout South Africa. Internationally, the AFM is represented in 35 countries and on six continents. We are part of the AFM. Glory to God for His goodness and grace.